morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swoosh and reviewing Spot. Spot, you know, Spot was a tough one here. Uh, I called Spot as an option trade last week in the earnings, and it rallied. So I called it as a put. The 150 puts expiring May 18th, and it, it's going to end up being a huge trade. But I think a lot of people killed it. Now, when you train options in the letter, you got to have decide what you want to do for money management. I say either kill it at 50% or you hold you hold all of them. So that means you hold the ones that work to the big moving, and the ones that don't work, you hold out past the 50% mark. So in other words, on this day, if you had if you did the put, you would have been down, and you would have been down more than 50%. But this is working now. It's through the strike, and actually, this is a, this is going to be a big trade. It went two points through the strike this morning, and it's going to end up being a huge trade because it's going to it's going to continue to sell off here now. So, and in fact, this sold off on Friday, gapped up and fell hard, despite the fact the market rallied. Now, that's not the reason this is working. It's working because the gap rated well. And, and I rarely, rarely look at things that don't have a lot of data, which this did not. But again, use the rating system, the 26 points. That's how I call the options trades and all the trades we do in the room in the morning and the day trades. And the gap rated good. It did. That's not to say that every single gap works. Sometimes the gap doesn't work and there isn't a reason. But very often, the gaps that rate well, 20 points or more, do work way more than not. And even if they don't work the actual day of the earnings or the day of the gap, if it was a news gap or a market-related gap or a sector gap or a gap for some other kind of reason other than earnings, usually it will work the next day. And that is what happened here. Uh, that is exactly what happened here, and it didn't gap at all today, just opened and dropped, but this is through the strike, and it's lower, and this is going to end up being a big trade because it's going to continue to sell off here. And this is on its own and has nothing to do with the market at all because you see the market here, and you see this. So there was one person in the room that's in this, and he's going to have a big trade in this. I mean, who Apple was huge, but who knows? This could even be bigger because this could – literally 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 drop 10 15 20 points even in a week so this will sell off and continue to do so so it was a really it was it was hard to see that it was going to work except for i went with the rating so the rating it's the gap rating that's how that you you just it you got to have conviction in the rating system which if you don't if you're not a student you don't know but if you sign up for the gap letter and I give the trade, I'm giving it based on my rating system, even if you never did the class. So you, you got to go with it. But money management rules are still important. If you really can't stick with the trade and you're down 50%, then kill it. But then, then you're taking quick profits in the ones that work and killing the ones that don't at 50%. And in this kind of tricky market, whatever you decide, you do have to be consistent. Consistency is key in this market. Or you're going to be chopped up to bits and pieces. So if you're holding every trade, you're holding every trade, and then you're getting the big moves, and you're, and then some, the some that you'll lose and you'll lose in. Okay, it's still an 80% win ratio with the option letter, same as with the day trades. So there will be uh, two out of every ten trades for the letter you're going to lose, and eight out of every ten you're going to win. But some are better than others, and this is going to end up probably being a, a very large winner. So congratulations, Shower Singer stayed with it. She's the only one in the room, and we'll, uh, we'll just see where this goes. I'll be monitoring it. Have a good day, everyone.